This is one of many technologies that have to go into autonomous driving. But what we're trying to demonstrate is what are the, what are the individual steps that we need to get there. Hi, I'm Kara Grasso, Vice President of Strategic Planning for Denso International America. We are a global-based company all around the world, born in Japan, but North American presence. Today I'm going to show you the Driver Status Monitor. This is a really important technology as mobility continues to evolve and we try to keep passengers safe. So this is one of those products that will really allow people to feel more comfortable in an autonomous driving situation. So today we're gonna demo. Mara is going to be our candidate. Okay, if you wanna put your hands on the wheel. Yeah. So the driver status monitor is really evaluating you. It's evaluating the, what your eyes are actually looking at and it's trying to detect is there any type of unsafe behavior that could put you in a critical condition. Okay. So we want to make sure you're safe. Yeah. Okay, so we're trying to prevent an accident. So if you stare right in, yeah. you will hear a warning if you start to look away. So now you can see we're in a distracted driving situation mm -hmm. and then there is a danger of some type of accident. Okay. Oh so you will hear a slight alert. warning, an alert. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you can see the three scenarios here on the side. We have already implemented these three scenarios and this is launched in today, some of today's vehicles. Okay? What you see here on the right hand side of the screen are all advancements in this technology which we have already been working to make very um, useful to our customer base. Yeah. Um, but not yet in vehicles today. Okay. This type of technology will keep evolving until we find a very comfortable way to make our customers in an autonomous situation. Actually, yeah, regulation will determine. Regulation will definitely be the reason why this is approved or not. Government may determine. Government will ask. Yeah. That's right. So Yamada-san is an expert at Denso in, in many areas, but he clearly understands that we need regulation to support this type of technology. Yeah. Abnormal posture means that, that may cause a fatal accident. Yes. That's why you have to, uh, that this system has to send a message to uh, automotive driving uh, system for them, for, for the system to stop the vehicle automatically aside the vehicle, yeah. aside the road. Yeah. Yeah. That's the reason why uh, automatic driving system wise, this is very important technology. That's right. Thank you, Yamada-san. So, Denso is a company that is always looking at how can we contribute better to society, and this is one of the many products that we have that helps contribute to a better society. This is one of many technologies that have to go into autonomous driving, but what we're trying to demonstrate is what are the, what are the individual steps that we need to get there. Throughout our booth, you would see many different examples. Um, the penetration rate of this type of technology is not high yet, but it will be growing over the course of time, yes.